We often take the opportunity to review patients' medication, inhalers and drugs, to make sure they're on the most effective treatment for their condition, and also to ensure that we get good uh, use of resources in the health service. When I was starting off as a chest physician, there was only one inhaler that came in two colours. Now, there's almost a confusing amount of new drugs, combinations of new drugs and old drugs, and new inhalers. These are at least as good as the old ones. In many respects, they're better, they're safer, the effects last longer, and the devices are even easier to use. Medicine reviews happen regularly and are done to ensure that all the medicines you are taking are working to the best of your health. There is a lot going on at the moment to look at this, so don't be surprised if you receive a letter asking you to come in to review what medicines you are taking. Two changes which may be introduced in the care of your asthma or COPD is a switch from the Ceratide inhaler, which comes in three different colours, to something very similar, the Fostair, taken in the same way as your previous inhaler. This allows us to step down your steroid dose as your health improves. One of the other changes may be moving from your Accuhaler Ceratide device onto something very similar, the Relvar Ellipta. By making these changes allows us to prescribe more cost effectively for you and ensure that you are on an appropriate dose and device that keeps you in good health. If you have COPD and are using a teotropium inhaler like this, and its other name is Spireva, it may be replaced by another inhaler called Incruise Ellipta, like this. Uh, it is just as effective as the teotropium inhaler, but it is much easier to use. And I can demonstrate that to you just now. This is a new device. It's called Incruise Ellipta. It would be this color. It's still green, still once a day, and you use it around about the same time every day. To use the device, I'll show you with the placebo one. Uh, you just open it and you hear a click and that's the medication ready just underneath the mouthpiece and all you have to do is the same action as what you did with the, the handy healer is a nice breath in hold your breath for 10 seconds if you can or whatever is comfortable for you and then just close it back up again and that's it once a day every time you open it it will count down a number so you can see yourself going down the doses. When you get down to the last nine, it'll start to go red, and that's an indication that you need to reorder your new inhaler. But much easier to use than the other one. So if you find yourself on one of these new inhalers and you have any questions, any thoughts or problems at all, don't hesitate to contact your pharmacist or your respiratory nurse. In addition, there is a free phone helpline available. Free phone, not a charge. 0800 So don't be concerned if your treatment changes. This new treatment will be every bit as good and indeed likely better than anything you've had before.